طلاب العربية طالبات العربية أهلا وسهلا بكم في درس جديد من دروس المنحة درسنا اليوم هو الدرس الثامن عشر وهو عن كان وإدخالها على الأزمنة How do we conjugate كان and how do we combine كان with the tenses that we have learned to get other aspects of the tense This is a table that should help you to see how kana is conjugated with all the pronouns. In the past, al-madi, al-mudari' al-marfu', al-mudari' al-mansub, wa al-mudari' al mazum You will notice that in certain places it loses its waw or it loses its alif, and it has to do actually with the fact that you cannot have a long vowel followed by a sukun. This is something we'll talk about more in detail when we tackle these irregular verbs. Now, combining kana with the tenses that we have learned to get subtle aspects of the tense. Kana ma'a qad ma'al madi gives us the meaning of the past perfect, had done. Some people actually like to call this the past of the past. Look at the example. Kuntu qad takharrajtu indama ta'arraftu alayha. I had graduated, you can insert already if you'd like, I had already graduated when I met her. The second possible combination is kana ma'a al-mudari' al-marfu'i. And it gives us one of two meanings that we can distinguish dependent on the context of the sentence. It can be the past progressive was doing something, as in the example that we had here. كانت تتناول الفطورة عندما رن الهاتف. She was eating her breakfast when the phone rang. So it gives us the idea of the past progressive. The second use is habit in the past. When you say used to do something or would do something, and that habit in the past is not continuing in the present. Look at the example. Kunna nalabu kura al qadami بعد دوام المدرسة. We used to play soccer after class. Look at the third possibility. كان مع المستقبل. And remember, al mustaqbal is made by seen or sofa. And al mudara al marfu'. In this case, we will use se, and it gives us the meaning of future in the past. Yani was going to do something in the past. مثال كنتما ستدرسان معا في المكتبة. The two of you were going to study together at the library. Now the last possible combination is. سا or سوف مع كان مع قد مع الماضي. It's a pretty compound structure to give us what's called the complex or anterior future, meaning I will have done or will have done. And it's a way of looking at the future as if it is past and as if it is over. Look at the example we have. ستكون زميلاتي قد تخرجنا بعد شهرين. My female colleagues or classmates will have graduated in two months. الآن نفيو كان. How do we negate كان in this or in other combinations? ما مع كان. So we can put ما that we used for the past in front of كان to give us this negation. Look at the example. ما كانت قد درست العربية من قبل. She did not or had not studied Arabic before. We can also combine lam ma'a kana fil majzum. Remember the ways of negating the past by using either ma with a verb or using lam, right, with al mudar al majzum. Lam takun qad darasati al arabiyata min qablu. She had not studied Arabic before. لم يكونوا يلعبون معا 
كل يوم. They did not use use to play together every day. So this is negating a habit in the past, as we said. You can also combine finally لن مع يكون في المضارع المنصوب. Remember, this is how we negate the future by using لن مع المضارع المنصوب. لن تكون أختي في البيت غدا. My sister will not be at home tomorrow. شكرا جزيلا طلابي طالباتي وأراكم في الدرس القادم.